Glass, an invention by nature. When lightning strikes sand, it can turn into glass. A fascinating material. Transparent, stable and yet fragile. And pretty much sharp when it's shattered. Avoiding sharp glass, that's a challenge many project engineers have to face and that is exactly why we're here today. Wow, there's really yeah. smooth edges. My name is Dennis Decker. I'm an application engineer at Trump. I'm pro for glass cutting. I'm making the impossible possible. Hi Dennis. Firstly, I want to know how you face the challenges of the uh, yeah, glass material. It depends on the um, material. So um, sometimes we have thick materials, thin materials, and uh, this is a challenge for us to find the right parameters. So what kind of industries uh, can you use this laser? For glass cutting, um, especially automotive, for example, or what you ever have in your hand, this is a smartphone, this is also glass on, on top. This will be done also with this laser. How is the technology working in that laser? The most important thing is the uh, optic we developed in our advanced developing team. And this is a special optic changing the Gaussian beam into a uh, bezel beam. And then we are able to do like a modification through the whole glass, so this is very thick. We need just one pass um, to do the modification after that. We need the CO2 laser for separation, so every time so it's like a two-step process. So what is the advantage of changing this type of beam? The beam is um, that we can do like a long line into the, through the glass, so we need just one pass to do the modification. That sounds promising because I want to see if it's going faster here with that laser and I have a challenge for you. What? I brought this glass here, careful, there are sharp edges here. Um, I just don't want to have only sh uh, smooth edges, I also want to have a circle in there. Do you accept this challenge? Challenge accepted. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. Good. <laughs> okay, let's hit the button. Wow, let's see, I can't believe this, really yeah. smooth edges, that is incredible. High edge quality, so no cracks at all, you cannot cut your fingers. So this was one use case, what other use cases do you have for this laser? So for example, if we can do etching, we can do small gears for the watch industry, for example. Or we can do also a lot of tiny holes for, for the semiconductor industry. If I would have known that you are capable of these things, I wouldn't have brought this. I mean, was that even a challenge at all? Well, this is not typical. Um, not every kind of laser can do it. So um, six millimeters of thickness is very a challenge also for us. So Dennis, I think this was very well done. You really solved the task. Uh, thank you for that. And now I'm thinking about another challenge. Okay, you. thank you. If you want to experience the real future of laser, if you've got any challenge that seems to be impossible, visit us at Laser World of Photonics in Munich.